So as I was saying, this dress can be old, it could be tattered, okay? They don't want you to get rid of it, all right? They want you, they don't want you to have a new beginning. They want you to be lost in the sauce, okay, as to what they're doing because they're really pulling strings behind your back or trying to pull strings behind your back, all right? They're trying to get you to lose your money, lose your happiness, your wealth, your success, and things like that. Just real bitch shit, basically. Um... <clears throat> And like I said, they don't want you to tell your story. They don't want you to speak up for yourself. They want you to like stay shallow or they don't want you to dive deep within yourself because that's how you really learn who you are. And then also with this card here, they don't want you to feel like you have protection. So like if you do speak up, like, oh my God, is somebody going to do something to me? Fuck no. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to you because that is your right and that is your prerogative to say how you feel. Sometimes when we stay quiet, it's more, it's actually more harmful to us than it can actually help us. So it's, it's important to speak up for things that you feel like you may have been uh you know having some injustices about all right never 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 stay quiet about how you feel about a certain situation because you never know you could be saving your life or you could be saving other people's life okay as you tell your story <clears throat> Yep, so we got that this bitch is corrupt. It's an alpha draconian, corrupt, unethical, okay, cult. I like to say cunt. <laughs> C-U-N-T, cunt. Because that's what this person is, is a total cunt. A corrupted cunt. That's what they are. We have the mantis beans, elusive, sensitive. Yeah, they don't want you to know what's going on. Everything is dry and barren behind and even on this damn person here. They're just trying to come in and steal your joy. That's basically what they're trying to do. A lot of honesty is going to be revealed in regards to what this person is doing. One plus eight equals nine. Nine is the ending of a cycle or something. All right. What's going to be ending? Or is going to be ending in honesty? Okay. divorce all right so that's what's going to be ending or it's going to be ending in divorce good written child yes listen when you get divorced man man it's the best feeling in the world i can attest to it let me tell you <laughs> um okay you could be dealing with the capricorn um this capricorn um has an std of some sort Dark energy, this Capricorn may be playing with dark energy or has dark energy, a fake emperor. It could be someone that you considered a friend, all right? This person is very impulsive here, all right? This person is a sexual deviant. All they do is think about sex. They're very untrustworthy. There are definitely going to be some sudden changes here. Um, I'm seeing an abortion, but I don't feel it's a... Hold on, wait, I heard shh, okay, tell me. <laughs> there's a secret abortion here, so there's a secret that uh, this person doesn't want people to know. All right, we have sneaky here. So someone got someone pregnant and either the person that they're with doesn't know this or the family members but I do see a lot of women around this one person in the middle. Um, and every time this person turns around, they're always absorbing what they are saying to him or her. So they take on a lot of their personalities as well, too. Like if someone say, hey, don't do that. Okay, I ain't gonna do it. Like they don't question it, they just do it. Um, yeah, they're fake rich, okay? <laughs> maybe in competition with you, maybe family is in competition here, okay? This child has a lot of childhood trauma. Yeah, I said this child because this person act like a child. So 
they're stuck at the stage of where the where their trauma began. Okay, this person is burning out or feel burnt out, or it could be burnt out with that STD. They feel real stuck. A lot of secrets are coming out. They got a secret lover here. The baggage could be with that HI. I didn't even say HIV. Yeah, that kept coming out. HIV. Somebody got HIV. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody got an anxiety over that. Somebody's panicking. They don't want you to know that they have HIV. Yeah, they don't want you to know that. This is going to shock you. Yep. We have endurance and we have snail, but it was in reverse. Endurance and snail. So they're not coming fast towards you. They want to come fast, but they're not moving fast. So it's like a dead end, like a double-edged sword. Yeah, they don't want you to, they don't want to shock you, but... Do not sleep with this person. Flowers is in reverse. They're not coming to give you no type of flowers. Healing is in reverse. Do not sleep with that person. Do not. Probably, um, so this reminds me of like a pregnancy but in reverse, someone's having trouble getting pregnant. They're not able to procreate, and I feel like family has a lot to do with that. That's the reason why you can't have a baby. What's the reason? Yeah, the future's in reverse. Like, you're stressed, maybe overweight. Um. You take on a lot of the family problems or burdens. You eat. You eat your stress. You eat your emotions. Mm, yeah. Loss. I feel like you may have experienced a miscarriage. Or two. I'm hearing two. Or two. Yeah, someone. So, mm, we have someone that is praying against your womb, against your stomach, but they don't really have that much of a power. What gives it the power is that you believe it. So even though they're praying on your downfall, it's like you are continuing the energy that they're bringing towards you. And in return, it's like, for instance, let's say you know somebody's doing something to you, right? Doing can of work on you. Why are you agreeing that they're doing candle work on you? Even though you know they're doing it, yeah, why are you agreeing? Well, they're doing it on me. And they're trying to do this. They're trying, they can't do nothing to you. They can't do nothing to you. That's why it's important to master yourself. Because when you sit down and you take the time to really learn the ins and outs, mainly the ins about you, You allow yourself to, or you set yourself up. How can I put it? You set yourself up in a way where your protection, like as you grow, your protection grows, what I should say. And um, they're trying to pray against your womb. So they don't want you to have a baby, may have kids, things of that nature, right? They, he, she, whoever, or you're doing it to them, whoever. But they don't have any power over you. You're giving it power. So they say something about you. They project it towards you. You literally got to fucking 
glove. Oh, all right, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to catch it. And you catching the negativity. And it says, you ain't shit. Damn, they think I'm not shit, so I'm not shit. Stop catching that shit. Throw that shit the fuck back. That's not yours. That's not what you should be catching in your fucking glove. You out there in the field and, and you see somebody hit the ball. I got it. I got it. You don't care what kind of ball it is. You just got to get it. You just got to get it. Stop getting things in your net that's not necessary for you. That's not necessary for your growth. If it's not going to help you grow, let that shit fall to the side. That's not my ball. I'm not going to get that. That wasn't meant for me. Now, in some cases, you may have to get the ball, or in some cases, you may feel like you have to get the ball, so you put the ball in your glove, and you're looking at it, and there's nothing but negativity, but you staying with that shit. You keeping that shit in your glove, and you just keep, keep looking at it. Now, you're now it's starting to materialize, it's starting to manifest into your reality. Now you upset. Throw that bitch back. Throw that bitch the fuck back to them. Oh, you want to throw a screwball at me? I'm going to reverse and I'm going to throw that shit right back to you. Make that shit crash and burn in your motherfucking face. Get into the habit of not allowing these, this, this bullshit energy or whatever, cesspool, shit, shitty, this is shit, shitty water, shitty water energy. Don't let this shit touch you. No matter what people do, no matter what people say about you. Don't let that shit touch you. That shit roll off your back, huh? You done with your tantrum. Mm. That's my favorite thing to say. Is you done. Because I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just not. And I'm going to look at you like you crazy. And I'm like, okay. All right. You finish? You all right now? You sure you okay? That's how you got to treat them. <laughs> Grown people, men or women. In a, in, a, in a grown woman or a man's body, but act like a fucking child. You treat them like a child. You all right? You need me some time to yourself? You need a time out? You need a nap? What you need? What you need, boo? I ain't arguing with you. I ain't doing that. Sometimes shit with kids. I don't even argue with kids. I look at you like you crazy. You done? <laughs> you done? Are you done? Are you finished? All right, well, let's go on about our day. What's the problem? Because if you can't sit down and open your mouth to discuss how you feel, I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's all the messages I have. So I'm going to stop there. So, of course, God can't before. That shit keep coming out. We got a Gemini here. We have Sagittarius, we have Scorpio, I heard one more, and we got a Virgo. All right, so if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, Earth Signs, peace.